Okay. Hi everyone, I'm SmartAleck24, and this is Battle Unit Z off for the Game Boy. I'm gonna make a super quick tutorial because this game is pretty short and pretty self-explanatory, but I'll still explain a couple things here and there. So without further ado, let's get started. So time starts when you press start, and then I believe you mash B after you press start in order to skip a little cutscene. Yeah, so you'll mash B right after you press start. So anyways, um, holding A uh, sends you up, that's how you fly, and then you can go down. If you hold up, it just aims your shot up, you're not going to use that a ton. Uh, holding B is to shoot, and then you don't want to mash B, because what I just did there is, um, when I mash B, I'm going to lose some health, which you'll see in the bottom right, that's my health meter. When I press B twice, what's going to happen is, it's going to kill everything on the screen, but you lose health. So you don't ever want to uh, mash B in this game, or whatever button you've mapped your controller to for B. Um, if you're going to shoot, just hold the button. I need to adjust my controls again. In fact, I'm going to change the color palette here. Oh, that looks great. No, I'm kidding. Alright, so again, press start, mash B. When you press start, that's when you start your time in this game. So anyways... You just want to be holding B, killing these enemies, and then just press A every once in a while, or at least hold it. Uh, you can also aim down with your shot. So there's five stages in this game. The first, the third, and the fifth are all auto-scrollers. And the second and fourth are not auto-scrollers. Those will be done very quickly. So you want to collect this P, which there's like a little enemy that you can shoot, and it'll give you that P, which is a power-up. So now I'm shooting two bullets. You just want to hang out up top here. There's no reason to go down all the way. You can kill some enemies down there if you want. It's not necessary. Uh, don't worry if you get hit. You want to collect that B there. Because what it does is it'll... It's another power-up and it makes your shots wider. So we've got two wide shots going right now. And we actually can bump that up to four. So a U is, uh, I believe, health. So if you're low on health, uh, try to find a U. I think a P will do that as well sometimes. It's been a little while since I've run this game, but uh, I did used to have the record in this, so I guess I have some sort of idea of what I'm talking about. But yeah, there's that little enemy there. So now this is the most powerful weapon in the game. We have four big shots going across, and again, you just want to be holding B. And then with those shots, you can actually take out those mines there. Uh, you can collect more power-ups if you want. It's not necessary. It doesn't really boost anything, but I have a habit of doing that just in, just in case. You know, you know, you never know. But uh, yeah, we're just going to keep going until we get to this. So now we're about to fight a boss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a save state. So there are a couple ways you can kill this first boss. Well, first off... This pa this boss's pattern is that he likes to shoot he likes to shoot upward with those bullets and then in front of him he likes to shoot a laser then a rocket then a laser and then he moves forward and then he shoots a couple times so like I said there's a couple of ways you can do this if the EverDrive wants to let me load a save state there we go hopefully it doesn't crash on me or anything but what I like to do is just fly above him and don't worry if you take a hit right there. You can take a couple hits and be okay. That's one way you can do it. I'm just going to show you a few options here. Um, I wouldn't really get in front of him because you're going to get hit by that laser and then the rocket will get you as well. Um, but also, like, you could also... Let me, let me show that, actually. You could get behind him. So basically, like, you could do this. And then just get behind him and kind of hover. And you can take him out that way. There's a few different options, but regardless, find whatever you like. Um, or you can watch the record video. I think Atros has the record in this game with 735. Watch what he does. Um, there's a couple strats that he does that I won't go over. Um, just because they're a little bit advanced. Anyways, I'm going to make a safe stay here now. So that's the first stage. You're already done with one stage. So now, this is one of those stages that's not an auto-scroller. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going down. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to do it slow, and then I'm going to do it fast. 
So anyways, there's all these enemies, and walking along, along the ground, or I guess sliding, that's slow. So you want to try to, like, be, uh, boosting when you can and everything. So you actually want to go left here, but if you're low on health, there is health right there if you need it. Right there. And like I said, I'll do this faster in a little bit, but I'm just showing what this looks like. So yeah, that's already, we're already at the boss there. Those levels are very short. That level and level four are going to be super short. But anyways, here's how you do it fast. What you do is you just want to hover. When you get to a ceiling, you want to hover. So like right here, I'm hovering right here because it's faster than sliding along the ground and falling slowly. So let me do that again. This time I won't talk through it. And then we'll get to the boss. Ah. It is possible to do that sometimes, where you'll accidentally uh, rub up against the wall and you won't actually go forward. That's happened to me a couple times. Don't worry if you take damage, because the next level there are some health pickups. So anyways, let me make a save state here. Yeah, that's the second stage. It's really short. So now we're on the second boss. So what you can do is you can literally just stand underneath him and just keep shooting. And your shot will destroy that thing right there. That's a really fast way to do it, is you can just stand underneath him and just shoot him. Um, I don't think there's... I think there is a faster way to do it, but it's only... It saves hardly any time, so I actually wouldn't even recommend you do it. Alright, stage three. There's one thing you need to know about stage three, which, let me make a save state in case I accidentally screw it up. Well, actually, no, I want to do it that way I can show you what it is. So anyways, as soon as you start in stage three, just go up. So, yeah, so that P right there, it does give you health. And you want to try to collect as many P's as possible. Now, um, there is one pickup in this stage you do not want. There's one pickup you absolutely do not want. Don't ever get it. It's that L right there. I'm going to show you what the L does. Again, do not get this. It gets rid of your weapon, and now you have lasers, which they are just, they're just not, they don't cover as much ground, they're slow. These are not good. Do not grab the laser. So anyways, I'll start level 3 over. That's, that's the one thing you want to keep in mind for level 3. Don't grab the laser. It is useless. If you're doing runs and you grab the laser on accident, reset your game. That's my recommendation. Just reset the game. Try again. So yeah, you just want to kind of fly around it like the. Just don't don't hug the right side of the screen. I wouldn't recommend you do that anyway. It's an auto scroll, or it doesn't save any time to do that. So just hang out in the middle. When you see the L, just dodge it. Like, go back and then or under it and everything. However you want to get around it, get around it. The U you can pick up, that'll give you health as well. I think once you power up all your weapons, then the the P and the U items will uh, give you health. Um, I guess I should mention what happens if you die. Uh, maybe I'll show that off in Stage 5. I'll show off what happens if you die. But yeah, these auto-scrollers, there is another L right there. Fly under it. There's two L's you need to dodge. At least if you're hanging out up top, which is what I would recommend for every auto-scrolling level. Just hang out up top. And just keep shooting. If you see a U or a P, go ahead and pick them up. Alright, we're about to fight another boss. I'm going to go ahead and make a... Yeah, we want to make a safe state here. Sometimes I get confused if I want to save or load. But anyways, um, this boss... What you can do is just sort of... Hang out, like, right here. So yeah, that's how I like to do it. I, I did it really fast, but let me kind of... As soon as I can load the state, I have to wait until I get to the score. Or no, there we go. Alright, so... What I like to do is... Um, Get like right around here because what he's gonna do, he's gonna shoot a laser, 
about where that like giant ball like orb thing is he's gonna shoot a laser out that way and then um this let me show i don't know how to explain it, but basically he's gonna shoot two lasers there he's gonna shoot two lasers that are far apart from each other he's gonna shoot two of those three times so he's going to shoot one, two, three, and then he's going to shoot two right in the middle. So after three, you want to just descend. You don't want to be holding A anymore. And then just right. So let me show it again. You don't want to be sitting on the ground when you're shooting because the the when you're shooting four uh, shots, the bottom shot will actually go underneath the boss. So you don't want to be doing that. So again, I just like to stay sort of in the middle here. One, two, three, duck. And then if you get hit by that one, it's okay. And there you go. That's the fight. That's all you gotta worry about. Alright, stage four is the second and last non-auto-scrolling level. So, let me show it, and then I will do it slow. I won't do the boss yet, but let me let me at least show this. That's how short it is if you're if you're doing it fast. All right, so let me I'll do it slow. So what you do, you want to be holding a pretty much as much as possible. Um, if you're not sure about a section or something though, then you can let go of. But anyways, you want to be also shooting upward and left and right. You never need to shoot down. That's not necessary. But anyways, you can sort of do it like this if you want. Uh, there are two health pickups if you need them. There's one right here. If you have... So that's actually something I need to mention. There's two things I need to mention there, actually. So, if you have the four shot, what you can do is, like right here, I still hit the enemy there. So you can kind of be on the corner and still be able to do that. So yeah, I'll take that health. And then... Okay, interesting. I actually think... I, I don't quite remember this, but I think what happens is if you grab the first health pickup, the second one's not there. Yeah, if so I didn't grab the first one, so that second one's not there anymore. I'm gonna do this one more time, and then we'll go to the boss. But anyways, let's try to do it fast here. You want to go left, then go to the right, go left. Alright, tell you what, I'm going to show you what happens if you die in this game, because I haven't done that yet. I'm at one health, so I might as well show you. So if you die, that enemy went away, come on. Oh, come on, don't be- ah. I'm letting the game kill me here, it doesn't want to cooperate. I was going to show you all what happens, alright. Fine, I'll load it again. This time we'll just take a death. So if you die in this game... You might already know what happens, but anyways, if you die... If you want to continue, just press start and you'll continue. But here's what happens. Now... I don't have all my weapons. So that's why you kind of don't want to die in this game, is you lose every power-up you ever... Excuse me, every power-up you ever had. It's gone. There is a way to kill this boss coming up. There is a way to kill him with just this power-up that I have. Um, I actually have that video on YouTube, so I'll link it in the description. But yeah, we're not going to fight the boss like this. Anyways, let's. Uh, I'll try to get there with at least a decent amount of health. Oh, probably should mention this. You need to have at least three health to do what I'm going to show you. So, I'm at five right now. I can take two hits and be okay. So, I'll play it safe just so that I can show you. There's going to be a health pickup, so I'll go ahead and get it. I have three health. All right. Now, we're not going to show that stage anymore. Let's make the save. So, the easy way to do this, this takes two health. Just stand underneath, move over, take those two hits and keep shooting. That's it. That's the easy way to do it. Now, Aatroz did find a couple other strats. Um, I think he has clips of those online. 
Um, I'll try to link those if I remember to. There are faster ways to do this, but for simplicity's sake, this is the easy way to do it. Just stand underneath and just shoot them. Um, I will show you a strat in case you're low on health. So, what his pattern is, is he shoots all those bullets, and then... Alright. <laughs> I actually haven't seen this pattern in a while, but I just now remembered it. So anyways, here is what he does. I guess I'm kind of showing you what the pattern is, but anyways, if you're low on health, you want to do that, which I kind of butch- I definitely butchered it. Ignore that. That's not what you want to do. That will cause a run over. <laughs> but anyways, what he does is he sprays out those bullets twice, and then he moves to the left, and then when he shoots those- I don't know what he's shooting, but when he shoots those things, one of them is going on the far right, and one of them is going in the middle between the right shot and the boss itself. So, what you could do is go like that, and then do that, and you'll save health. That's slow, but if you're low on health, that is an option for you. So yeah. I'm just gonna move on. We're not even gonna, not even gonna worry about it. Alright, stage 5, last level. Th that's it. This game is really short. Honestly, really easy, really simple, but I figured I'd go ahead and make a guide that way. Nobody feels lost at all. Um, again, P's and U's that you see, you want to pick up. I can't remember if there's a laser in this, but if you see an L, just avoid it. That is not good at all. Don't ever pick it up. Now, I do remember there is a, a slightly faster strat for this boss that Atros found. I'm not going to show it, just because I myself don't really understand it that well. Um, it involves uh, using the... Uh, that attack I showed earlier, where you press B twice, and everything explodes on the screen. It involves that. Um, but... Um, there, there still is a pretty easy way to kill this boss. And the more health to have, the more health you have, the better and easier the fight is. So yeah, again, you're just hanging out in the middle, shoot left and right, take out enemies. Pretty simple. I don't really have to explain anything here. Just sit back, listen to the jams. There is a P right there. I didn't grab it, but there is a P right there. That'll give you a last, last little bit of health there. All right. So I'm going to do this boss a couple of times. But anyways. Uh-oh. Oh, no! No! <laughs> All right. There's passwords in this game, fortunately. Well, that's that sucks. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm actually going to... I'm going to play up to that point, and then I'll... Uh, I'll re-record again, so I'll splice this together, so give me one second. Alright. Sorry about that mishap there, but uh, I'm back in stage 5 now. I played about half of it. So I'm going to just show you the boss, and then I'll show you when to stop time. But uh, yeah, I've actually never had a, uh, a crash during a tutorial, so yeah, not bad, right? It's got to happen to me eventually, I guess. Anyways, we are, I think, getting close to the end here. Again, there is one last pickup you can get right before the boss. Which you can get if you're floating up, which is what I would recommend. Right there. Alright, so here's the boss. I'm going to show you, if you're at full health, you don't even have to worry. Just start hovering right here. Just get right here and hover, if you have full health. Now, here's where time is. 
time. As soon as the screen is completely blank, that's when your timer stops. Now, I know I did that boss fast. I'm gonna show, off, show it off just a couple more times and then that'll be it for this tutorial. Well, does the music completely start over when I do that? Interesting. Oh, you know what? Maybe that was why it crashed earlier. I don't know. My Everdrive might have crashed because of that. It doesn't matter. It's fine. But anyways. Um, so, if you're not a fan of what I did there, you can step back a little bit and kill the boss that way. There is a strat that Atroz does in his World Record run. You can watch that. It, it, it involves using your... Uh, Using your attack to, or like mashing B to kill everything on the screen. It does work on bosses. It doesn't kill them, but it does still do, it does deal damage. So. But if you want like a sub 740, it's not required. You don't even have to do it. But anyways, you can just float right where you're standing. And he's going to shoot rockets out like near his feet. And then those bullets will still hit you. That's all you got to do. For that boss. Nothing crazy. Time. But yeah, that's Battle Unit Z off for the Game Boy. Again, super easy. Um, at least in my experience and in other people's experience running this game. Not really too complicated, but I wanted to make a tutorial anyway, uh, just to explain everything. So uh, yeah, hopefully that was helpful if you're trying to run the game. But anyways, that is going to be it. Thanks for watching, and good luck!